Hello YouTube, what's going on? Captain Nick 88 here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove the green screen from an intro or an overlay um, in an uh, third party program um, like a Sony Vegas Pro 15 or After Effects or Premiere or something like that. Um, before we get straight into the video though guys, I just want to let you guys know that I did su successfully upgrade my computer. It took me a couple of days, especially to work out a lot of the bugs that were occurring. But we finally did it and I plan on either learning After Effects or I might just be uploading a lot more um, uh, live sh uh, gaming live streams. Um, because I don't actually upload gaming videos, I only do it in the live stream. So, um, yeah, without further, further ado, guys, let's get straight into it. So, let's say this is the overlay or the intro that you selected on Panzoid. Okay, you want to go to, after you've customized it, right, for your name and stuff, you want to go to the basics tab. It's like a box with a check. And you want to go to video resolution, make it 1080p, and the frame rate 60 now a lot of people don't think that changing the frame rate to 60 is really really important but in panzoid it is absolutely crucial um and in a in a program like um adobe after effects um 30 frames per second is actually a lot smoother for some reason it appears a lot smoother than panzoid rendering 30 frames per second so if i were you guys i would recommend always rendering in 60 frames per second and if you have to turn it down to 30 frames per second you can do that in another program because I just feel like the results will be a lot better that way but definitely render it in 60. Next you want to go to the download tab and you want to select the mode as good quality. Now the, qual the these modes don't really change much at all in Panzoid um, but I just wouldn't go with fastest render or balanced I, if I was you, I would go with good quality or extreme quality, but extreme quality does take a while. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's just go for extreme quality because this is only a two second video and half of it's green, or like way more than half of it's green. And you're going to go to the format and change it to WebM. Now, if you plan on using the built in uh, Panzoid video editor, which is also online as well, you can. Um, you can actually use their chroma key feature to remove the green screen. It's a little bit more of a hassle because it is a lot more complicated because you have to manipulate the values to get it to the appropriate um, color so that it doesn't actually take away from the intro or the overlay itself. But um, if you're using a third party uh, software, um, then you are going to have to take another step after the render to um, to, to solve, to, to uh, import it into the um, editing software. So we're just going to click start video render right here. Okay, and I don't know how long this is going to take. It's, it's actually not taking that long. Um, Panzoid renders usually are extremely fast. Um, people say it depends on your computer. Um, I think there might be some um, effect on how strong your computer is that it will be able to handle it but I think that mainly a lot of it has to do with connection as well um, that's just something that I uh, I think so it's, it's wrapping up right now and I'll, while it's doing that I'll show you some um, programs that you could use um, to convert so if you go to Google Chrome you can type online video converter did I spell that converter wrong? No. Okay. And you can convert videos using this. Um, it's pretty good, but I have problems with it back, um, I'd say, a year ago. So I stopped using it. Um, it wouldn't give me the 1080p feature. It would keep going to 720. So I just stopped using it altogether. And I found a program that I actually really like. It's called Handbrake. And that is what I'm going to be using today to show you because it's actually at first it seems a little bit complicated but once you uh, change the settings you really don't have to change anything again um, especially once you create a little preset so um, here's our video um, thing about webm files is they are designed for um, to be accessed over the internet um, so they won't work really in a in like an editing software program because they're designed for specifically something like Google Chrome, Firefox, or um, 
Microsoft Edge. So it's all online based. And that's what it, that's what it came out to. So that's pretty good. Um, so let's head over to the um, converting uh, program, and you're just gonna select File and Nvidia. And I created a custom preset. Uh, it's called 1080p60. This way, it automatically um, goes to that and um, whatever I, because I always render in 1080p60 anyway in Panzoid, so um, it it keeps it um, consistent. Now, what I found that this these values right here, so this is 1920 by 1080. These do change actually, so it, you will experience that sometimes it will say 1920, and then the height will be like. 800 uh, it's due to the shutters you just want to make sure that that's always 1920 by 1080 if you're using 1080 uh, P as your quality so next you're gonna go to the video and make sure the frame rate is set to 60 constant frame rate um, and that's pretty that's pretty much it I really don't think that you have to play with really any other settings um, it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty straightforward. So next, you're gonna go to the browse, uh, right? If you're using this, and you're, I'm gonna type in Nick Overlay, Nick Overlay, right? Like that, and then I'm gonna click save, and then it's going to have this file destination of where it's gonna export, and then we're just gonna click starting code, and down there in the bottom, that was actually extremely fast. Um, usually, if it's 10 seconds video, it will take. Um, a little bit of time to do but this is it and now it's an mp4 and if we play it it looks pretty good so now that we have completed that uh, we're just going to exit out of these um, these programs right there and we're gonna open up uh, Vegas Pro 15 you can also use Vegas Pro 14 I think all the Sony Vegas is support it um, premiere um, after Effects, so there's a whole bunch of programs that you can use, or if you have a program that can use it, then you can totally uh, use these features. So I'm going to go to Project Media, Import Media, um, or I could have just dragged it in, but it's um, a little bit easier to show you without exiting the program. So there it is. I'm going to drag it in, click Yes, zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what's what's happening, play it, and it looks really nice. All right, fantastic. <clears throat> so next, we're gonna go to Chroma Key, and you're just gonna drag the Chroma Key feature on. It's under Video Effects and Chroma Key Default. Drag it on, and from there, it's actually really, 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 really simple. All you have to do is this. Can this move over a little bit? Actually, yeah, I can. All, right. All you have to do is click the color, click the little eyedropper, select the color. And if there are problems with the um, the conversion, which there aren't actually in this one, then you um, then you can manipulate the settings. But there you go. So basically, what you do with this is you would have a video located underneath of it, underneath it, and uh, this overlay would just appear on top of the video, and it would um, you wouldn't see the green or anything. It, it would look very very clean. It would look like the letters are coming out of basically nowhere, and that is how you edit a um. That is how you edit. Uh, oh Jesus! What the hell? I want to know how to. And that and that is how you guys can edit a green screen, um, video. So it's pretty cool. Um, if this if this helped you guys, make sure you guys tell me down in the comment section. Um, for this week, let me just check to see what we're gonna be doing this week. Um. I think this week we're only going for three videos. So we have green screen, um, custom 2D shapes, and swirl tutorial. And swirl tutorial will be on Friday, and then the custom 2D shapes will be on Wednesday. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And uh, without further ado, guys, peace and bye bye.